Hello and welcome to this free WordPress training about WebArcs. WebArcs is a website security and monitoring solution, and in this training session, you will learn how WebArcs can protect your site. You will learn how to use WebArcs to meet some of the GDPR requirements, and how to use WebArcs monitoring to have better clarity and control over your website. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do in order to start working with WebArcs is, of course, to create an account. And we're going to do that by going to WebArcs website, that's www.webarcsecurity.com. And we'll start by clicking on the Try It For Free button right here. And this leads us to a registration page. Now you can choose whether you would like to sign up with one of your existing social accounts or to sign up with your email address. And I'm going to choose that option right now. The next step, of course, is completing this form by typing up all the relevant information. Let's do that together. And once that's done, just click on sign up. And right after signing up, we get the option to add our first website here. So all we need to do is to click on add new website and start adding our first WordPress site to the system. And now what you need to do in order to add the website is to type in the URL of the website that you want to add. It's that simple. So I'm going to type that in and I'm going to click on add website. And what we get now is a message confirming that we have successfully added the website or websites and we can close this window and go directly to our dashboard to see the data. It uh, also uh, was mentioning that it may, it may take up to 10 minutes for the information to dashboard. update and to reflect on our dashboard. So let's close this message right now. Now, before we move forward with this demo, I would like to emphasize that the message at the top here that says that the trial ends soon is basically because I've gone through the registration process with you together in this tutorial. I'm actually an owner of a website owner plan which is 10 sites and I'm currently um, a full-time user a subscription owner for this solution so I'm personally invested in this uh, SaaS software and I'm not just uh, showing you a demo of an unused account I'm not 100% sure why the uh, trial message is still visible on my account. I guess it has something to do with, uh, with uh, caching or perhaps take some time for the system to reflect the fact that I'm already uh, a subscriber. But uh, just to make things uh, clear, I did not just sign up for a free account and left it at there without personally investing in something that I review or recommend so with that out of the way let's go back to the installation or onboarding process and the next step will be to activate the firewall feature for our website for our domain as i said earlier webarcs isn't just a gdpr compliance tool it does much more than that it also provides firewall and protection and reputation checks for your website and for your domain and in order to do that we need to activate some features so the first step will be to activate the firewall feature by click what firewall feature by clicking on that toggle right here and in order to activate the firewall we need to go through the wordpress plugin setup process and basically that means that we are going to connect our site with webbox system so let's click here on Setup Plugin. Now in order to automatically install WebArx plugin on our site, we need to provide WebArx with our admin username and password. Now WebArx clearly state that the process is 100% secure and that they, they do not store our admin username and password on our servers. However, if you still prefer to manually install the plugin on your website, you can easily do that just like installing any other plugin on your WordPress site. In fact, let's do that together right now so you can see how easy it is to manually install the plugin. So let's click manually 
and this is immediately followed by the download plugin page where you can download the plugin to your computer and now all we have to do is to go to our WordPress site admin dashboard navigate to the plugin page and click on add new and now we'll choose the upload plugin option file. and then choose a file from the downloads folder or wherever downloads are stored on your computer you just need to select the file that you've just downloaded and click on open and then on install now as soon as the plugin is installed all that's left for us is to click on activate plugin and as soon as the plugin is activated we are automatically taken to the settings page now to keep things as simple as possible for the onboarding process i'm not going to touch anything at this process i'm not going to touch anything at this point we will visit this section later on what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go back to the webarx dashboard page and in order to do that, I'm going to simply delete this part of the URL and go back to the dashboard. And now, as you can see, firewall is activated. And all we need to do is to wait for a few minutes for a data format to reflect back to our dashboard. So I'm going to pause the video now and I'm going to resume as soon as I'm going to have some data added to the dashboard so we can see how it looks. Okay, so welcome back. And I'm sure that you can instantly see a few changes on my dashboard. First of all, I no longer have the trial account message on my account, which is great. And I'm sure that you can see that I have more than one website on my account. This is because I decided to add a few more websites so I will have more data information and examples to show you throughout this tutorial. So let's start with uptime monitoring at the upper right corner of the screen. WebRx automatically monitor each and every website that you add to the service and verifies that the site is online. If the site goes down or becomes offline, then you will see it here on the dashboard. I've taken one of my websites down here so you can see that I have four websites monitor and only three of them are, um, are up. So the bar goes down and when the site goes down, you will get, you have, you can choose to receive an email notification to your um, mailbox so you'll know that you have a problem with the website and you need to check it out. At the upper left side of the screen, you have the firewall dashboard. And basically that means uh, that you can see how many attacks were blocked from reaching your site. At this point, I would like to emphasize that unlike some other security plugins like iTheme Security and so, WebRx isn't just about uh, cleaning your site. It's about preventing the attacks from reaching your site in the first place. And basically, this is the most important thing. Instead of having to clean up your site and dealing with cleaning infections, you want to keep them away from your site. You don't want to let the attackers get in in the, in the first place. So this is a pretty refreshing uh, approach. And this is why I uh, recommend this solution so much. At the bottom of the screen, you can see the list of sites that you added to the service. And you can see right here in a glance, very important information about each website. So for example, you can see if your site is blacklisted or being mentioned in hacker communities for being hacked. You can also verify the SSL status of your site, meaning that your site automatically redirects non-secure traffic, the plain HTTP tra traffic, to a secure HTTPS traffic. You can see when you add the site to the service and in a glance at the top level, you can see if you have software vulnerabilities on your site, meaning that you have themes, plugins, or even WordPress files, which are out of date and needs updating. So let's drill down into one site as reference. And here we can see a single site dashboard and it has a very similar layout to the main dashboard that we've already seen. We have two blocks at the top, uh, one at the upper right corner and one at the upper left corner. And then we have a data section at the bottom. So at the upper right corner, we have the uptime and response time of our site. And this is very important information because keep in mind that WebArcs monitors your site frequently, every few minutes. 
So here you can easily evaluate if your server has some bottlenecks or problems serving visitors at certain times of the day or if it works as expected. Now, as you can clearly see, the response time of my website is just amazing. It's just around 200, 300 most of the day. So I don't have any issues with that. But this is something that you would like to visit every once in a while and make sure that as your business grows, as the website grows, you don't suffer lack of resources from your web hosting provider. At the top left block of the dashboard, we can see in a glance how many attacks were blocked by the website firewall over the last few days, over the last seven days. And as you can see, I have a one, I have one attack blocked a uh, day before recording this tutorial. And if I scroll down to the data section of the dashboard, I can quickly request a manual rescan of my site and to examine the result of each security scan that was run against my site. For example, HTTP to HTTPS redirections, any PHP errors. I can make sure that I'm running the last, I can make sure that I'm running the last, the latest version of PHP to make sure that it's not vulnerable to attacks and so on and so forth. I can quickly navigate to uh, look at the uptime logs of my website, the firewall logs. If you remember, uh, we saw just recently that I had one attack um, against my site that was blocked by the firewall. So here I can see exactly what that was. I can navigate to activity logs and um, look at um, data user log in, log out, and any other important information that I would like to examine on my website. And I can also quickly see which software, themes and plugins are installed on my website, which version, and if there are any known vulnerabilities, so I can quickly see that from one place. And of course, if one plugin or theme is not up to date, I will see it here as vulnerable and I will show it to you in a minute. Before we move on, let's go back to the monitoring section and scroll all the way down. And here you can choose which notifications you would like to receive about your website. If there are software vulnerabilities when your site goes down, when your domain is about to expire. Now you may think that this will never happen to you, but if, if you're a student in my WordPress security course, then you know that there are so many people who simply forget to renew their domain and as a result, their site goes down and website. So uh, I think it's a very important um, security service as a precaution to know when your domain is about to expire. You can never be too careful when it comes to domain names and web hosting. So basically all you need to do at this section is to choose the um, events that you will li would like to be notified about and just click on save setting and then we can dismiss this message. So now let's choose another site that has some vulnerabilities in it. So you can see how it looks in case you encounter one in your own dashboard. So I will pick a site that I deliberately kept out of date. And the first thing that you see is that if the uh, WebArcs firewall plugin version is out of date, you immediately get a notification, a message saying that uh, you have an old version of the firewall installed and you need to go to your WordPress admin dashboard and update the plugin, you do that the same dashboard and update the plugin, you do that the same way you update any other plugin, just go to your admin dashboard and click on update. And if I scroll down a little bit more, you can see that I have more vulnerabilities on this particular website. For example, the WordPress installation itself is vulnerable. It's running version 4.9.5, which is an old version and is vulnerable to exploit. So it's highly recommended. This is actually a critical error. It's highly recommended that I will update this to the most recent version. And I have one more improvement um, suggestion and is to redirect all HTTP traffic, non-secure traffic to HTTPS. Now keep in mind that currently WebArcs does not fix these issues for you. You have to manually go to your website and fix them one by one, which is perhaps the only uh, improvement or suggestion that I have for WebArcs is um, to include these out of fixes, automatically fixes, 
is part of their service and their plugin. Anyway, once you go to your website and fix whatever it is that you need to fix, you can either wait for the automatic scan to occur or to come back to the screen and manually click on rescan site. Once you've done that, just give it a minute or two for the new data to populate on your dashboard. And finally, what I wanted to show you are the cookie noticed or GDPR features of WebArcs. This is the main reason uh, why we've gathered here today and why I've made this tutorial in the first place. So once you activate the WebArcs plugin on your website, or if you want to visit the settings page uh, at any time, all you need to do is to go to the WebArcs section at the WordPress admin board and click on settings. And here you have several tabs here at the top. So what you have to do at this point is go to the cookie notice settings. And the first thing that you would like to do is to activate this feature. What it means is that when a visitor comes to your site, he will see a pop-up or a message bar that comes from the bottom that will be more precise definition. You will see a message pops up from the bottom with this notice. And you can customize the message any way that you like. You can customize the uh, I agree text to anything that you like. You can customize the colors here. And you can also enable the privacy policy link. If you click this uh, checkbox here, okay, then uh, the message bar will also include a link to your privacy policy. Now, all you have to do with uh, this point is simply to, to paste the URL for your privacy um, policy page. I'm going to type in the main page of this site because this is just a demo site. But you type here, what you enter here is the privacy policy page URL. And the next thing is to choose the behavior of this message. Whether you would like to show it every time user visits your site, once per week, once per month, once per year, uh, choose whatever you want at this point. I'm going to go with once per week. Okay. And here you can choose the opacity, again, the look and feel of the message. And you can even choose if you want to display the WebOx credit. I'm going to disable that. And I'm going to save the settings. Let's um, put this into action and see how it goes. So I'm going to open my site. Uh, this is uh, how the site looks like before enabling the cookie disclaimer, the cookie message. And I'm going to refresh the page. And now, as you can see, I automatically get a message saying the cookie consent. We use cookies and you need to agree. And automatically, there is a link here that if I click on that, again, I'm taking to, I'm being redirected to the home page because this is the URL that I entered, but it will take you, it will open any URL uh, or web page that you will type in or add to the plugin settings. So this is a very... Uh, cool feature, nice feature to have the cookie consent added as part of the GDPR requirements to your website without writing a single line of code. Just keep in mind that depending on your business size and activity, you may need more than just cookie consent in order to comply with GDPR requirements. If you would like to learn more about this topic, then I invite you to read my complete WordPress GDPR guide. You can find a link to this guide in the video description. So to recap, WebArcs is a complete, web, a complete website security and monitoring solution that also allows you to comply with some GDPR requirements. WebArcs basic account allows you to protect up to 10 sites from one single dashboard and it's very easy to use. For more information about WebArcs and signing up, just follow the link below this video. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, my God.